Hey hi everyone, Phil here and we've got a question from Eric today who'd like to know how to get a slope and an intercept of the regression line. So we're talking here about simple linear regression you've got one independent variable. So let's look at an example dependent variable, independent variable and first we want to get the scatter plot. We'll go to graph and click on legacy dialogues and scatter plot. This is one way to do it. And select simple scatter and define. Okay, so then we want to move our dependent variable into the y axis, independent into the x axis. At this stage, if you like a title for your graph, you can click cut title and enter a title there. And then we just click on OK. Okay, so the graph comes up, the scatter plot that is. And there's no line and no equation, so we want to add that now. But to do that, click anywhere within the graph, double click on the left mouse. Okay, this brings up the chart editor, it's a new window. Now, look carefully along here. What we want is this thing here add fit line at total. Click. When you do that, the properties box pops up and you can see that it's got four tabs and the tab we've got here fit line. We want to fit a linear line, it's a regression line and we'd like to have attach label to line. That gives us the equation, see if I attach it and go apply then it disappears, the line disappears. So that's what you want, attach label to a line, apply, watch it, it appears as if my magic. And then you go close. If we look at this line here, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, I mean, sorry, if you look at this equation here, you can't shift it around, but um, this intercept, if you want to change it, it says 1.06 times 10 to the 2. Double click on that. And then a properties box comes up again. You want to click on reference line, and you can see it says custom equation. This is the line it's writing down. We don't want e to the 2 there, that's the same as times 10 to the 2 just looks better you know so 106 and apply and then it'll change okay so we've got the line and the equation uh, but to be honest I don't like the way it's uh, presented here okay, I can't actually move this line I mean sorry move this box so I'll show you other way to do it right so the other way to do it I've got my line here is to insert a text box or annotation box so either of these icons will do but there's an annotation you can play around with it just annotations got a slightly smaller box it looks like it fits nicer so we just had some value I don't really care what it was now it's about, uh, gradient was about 13 X so that's our equation um, that's fitted Y uh, I'm gonna write Y hat it's not the true Y not value of Y Okay, and then to shift it, you just click in this box like this, and then just make sure you've got these arrows, and then you could just pull it around wherever you want, like this. And then click outside. Okay, let's try the text box and see how that looks. Delete that. Right now, I'm going to click on the text box, click a box. Do the same thing. Delete that text. Perhaps that you prefer this. And this one you can just shape, pull around, move it around, and make it smaller. You know, take your time. Yeah, maybe this one looks alright. Okay, so I've got my line, I've got my equation. I see on the top right here it gives you the R square for it as well. That's off the chart, so just click on it and I'm going to drag it over like this. Okay, so you've got your... Okay, so there it is. Alright, so thanks to Eric for today's question.